Hello again and welcome to my garden on a not particularly sunny day so I've not bothered uh, with the solar panel this time. Um, I'm using my power pack um, to uh, act um, as the battery. I don't think I explained it very well last time. This boost book converter here is used simply just to change the voltage going to this sensor here. The idea is I'm emulating when my battery goes between, you know, let's say for argument's sake, 11 and 14 volts, absolutely fully charged to almost empty. So this is, shall we say, version 2 of the grid tie, auto grid tie switch. So the Arduino Uno uh, is being powered by this USB battery power charger. Um, the LCD screen is now being used in place of three LEDs. I've left one LED there just as a status light in case the LCD packs up. And you can see at the moment it's in auto mode and it's charging. Or it would be if anything was connected to my relay. It shows the current battery voltage, which is about right. It's not quite accurate, I need to work on that a little bit. So the voltage is currently showing 11.9. As I emulate the fact that my oops, wrong way around. Battery voltage is climbing. When we get to 13.8 volts, heard the um, relay click there and we've gone into auto grid time mode. As the relays are on. But as the voltage drops again, rather than previously where at 13.8, it would then flip again. I've now changed it so that it will remain in grid time mode until the battery gets to 12.6 volts and now we're back into charge mode. We still have the manual buttons so I can change it to manual mode charging and manual grid mode. Again, as previously stated, I haven't got a switch that fits on my breadboard, so I'm just using those push buttons. So this is version 2. Um, I think it's got a couple of improvements, obviously with the LCD giving a readout, telling you what mode it's in, and the fact that between 12.6 volts and 13.8 volts, um, it can be in either mode, depending on what the previous mode was. So I hope you like my improvements, please do comment, uh, like and share, and I'll answer any questions you have. I'll also put a link to the sketch below this video, so you can try this for yourself. Thanks for watching.